Welcome back, everybody, to Unconditional Surrender, me, myself, and I playthrough of the main event scenario. The game is published by GMT Games, designed by Salvatore Pasta. We are getting ready to go into uh, January of 1944. Um, getting close to the end here. So we're going to have to see if we can break the Germans or if the Germans will hold out and force a separate piece in July. Um, so we'll start off with weather because it is January, uh, December through February, so we have to roll dice um, in the cold zone. We get a five, which is severe. Okay. In the mild zone, we get a four, so that becomes poor. And in the warm zone, a one. Fair weather in northern Italy. Oh my, that's an interesting twist. Just see what comes of that. Uh, no one's going to declare war at this point. The economy phase. Um, why did I bring up the faction track? That makes no sense. Here's the national tracks. Um, Germany, due to the fact that she lost a factory, is at 36. Britain is at 34. And the Russians, having lost a factory, are at down at 238. Um, Germans are not going to give anything to their allies because they, they're they going to need all the points. To, they're barely able to move things and keep airplanes up right now, so <clears throat> that's just the way it's going to have to be. Um, strategic warfare. <coughs> Take a drink here real quick. Germans still are plus one because they have this airplane up in Bergen. And the Russians are plus three because they are uh, they have there's six conquered countries. Um, the Germans could play their subs now, try and get that factory back, and then they'll probably lose it to the British, um, which would just keep them at minus two. If the Russians get lucky and, and take one here, and then the Germans use their their marker against uh, the West. West is already at plus four, I think, to their bombed markers. Let's check bombed markers. Yeah, the West is at plus four, and Germans are only at plus one, so um, even having them, I'm probably going to still lose. Uh, and they could just go ahead and waste their partisans marker if they really wanted to, to try and force the issue. Um, dang. Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and use the submarines here. Assume that I'm going to lose one in the last. To try and keep it up, or do I want to try and limit what the dress does? Uh, my general strategy has always been to use it in the West to try and keep them from getting one. So we'll go after the. We'll just leave it here and roll dice. So the Germans roll five plus one is a six. Um, the Russians did have a partisans. Uh, or no, they didn't. They used their partisans marker, so they didn't have anything that they could play anyway. And then the Russians roll at plus two, a six, plus two. So that's an eight, and the Germans are at a six. Six to an eight is a diamond, so they both recover one. Which the Germans would have rather not had the Russians recover one, but hey, everybody gets their factories back down to one. Then we go into the West. The West is now at plus four. They're plus two because the Americans plus two bond markers. And then the Germans are still at plus one. Uh, we go to National, you know, play your chit stuff. Um, the British could throw out Partisans, but it's poor weather here in January. And they see a chance maybe of dropping a either a Partisans here to bust the line in front of Nantes. Or even more importantly, they could possibly drop a partisan's marker down here to break the Po River line. So <clears throat> there's much more important things that they can do with their partisan's marker. Um, I know everybody says the Germans have to you have to get their factories down, but the Germans right now are struggling to move everything they need to move 
replenish airplanes and still build whatever happens to get eliminated. So I think if I can bust through here and start threatening to actually take factories, that'll be far more worrisome to the Germans than anything else. So from the West point of view, they're not going to play it. From the German point of view, they are. They want to not... Oh, boy. See, now I'm in that quandary. If I save it for when I'm down a factory and try and regain it, you know, that might actually be better. I think I'm going to save the German sub as well. So, plus one to plus four. Germans roll. Two plus one is a three. The British roll. Five plus four is a nine. That takes the German factory down a loss marker, so they'll be at the same amount next turn. Let's do be at their 36. Which, you know, that's not bad for going into 1944 and having 36 production points. It's pretty good for the Germans, I think. Uh, Germans do have a lot of stuff to do, though. Um, so that's strategic warfare, strategic movement. Uh, the Axis had a marker over here somewhere. There it is. Faction card. Let's get the marker off of here. Then we got to decide if we need to strategically move something. Um, it's severe in the cold zone, which means the most he's going to get are some retreats. Just because of the math, the way the math works out. Um, since you have to have all your die rolls, even if you get like a plus four or something like that, the best you get is a five. <laughs> I think you have to get to a plus, uh, you have to be at plus five to have a chance to even get a six. So odds are there's just going to be some retreats maybe around here, depending on what I do with the Germans as far as movement goes. Don't think there's going to be a whole lot of movement. Since Russians don't have a partisans, and I don't have to worry about elimination unless they push the fourth first, and they might get the first. And sooner or later, I'm going to end up losing the first infantry anyway. So I think I'm not going to have to do much movement on the eastern front, which will let me have points to spend to move around in the west. And, and in a med, med's going to be a problem. Okay. I do not see a strategic move for the Germans. Oh, I know what I can do. Uh, just for the future, um, I'm going to go ahead and move this airplane from Bergen to Stavanger. If I ever get around to being able to have enough points to actually rebuild it, then it can fly back to Germany at the end of 44 to try and shore up the defenses for the last stand in 1945. Assuming I make it that far. Okay, um, that's their strategic movement. Um, the West... I didn't see anything that the West wanted to do. They're kind of like everywhere they need to be. With fair weather down here in the Med, we're going to be doing some attacks, so... Depending on what the Germans do. So, let's... No. And the Soviet... Um, I didn't see one of the Soviets either. So we'll say no to that. And pause. And I'm back. Um, you know, uh, German operations don't look like they're going to be much of anything here. Uh, I really don't want to do anything in the east. It's the best line I can make in the East. Um, oh, I do want to bring the Vaslov up, so I will be moving some reserve-type guys. Whoops, no one. Put this over here. So I guess I'll spend one to move Vaslov. For... Five, six, seven. And let's put this garrison one, two. Put him in Riga. So that's another one. Um, kind of like where this guy is. Romanians are fine. 
I was going to move a Hungarian up. I'll move one of their. One, two, three, four, five, say. Uh, again, just to have something in the way just for the real German army to run behind. Um, I don't see any reason to move Romanians. I don't see any reason to move the Finns. Uh, Swedes are garrisoning where the airplane is, and they're garrisoning their own country. Nothing to move for the Swedes. Let's go down here to the... The Met in the West. Oh, boy. Um, they do have a surprise attack marker, and it is poor. So, open ports they can land in. So I probably need to try and plug some of that up. Um, one, two, four, five, six, seven. So, hmm. One, two, four, five, six, five, six, seven, eight. Could get garrison to here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I could get a garrison to Lahar. Now let me put two real infantry up here on the coast. Just trying to figure out how to try and garrison as much of this as possible. I probably should have... Cannot get to Marseille unless I send him which is just an open invitation for them to run through this way. So they're probably going to get there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Dang it. Hmm. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Six, seven, eight. Best I can get is eight here. 3717. Okay, well. <clears throat> really need to put something in the harp, I think. So I guess I should see if I can push the Canadian back, right? Um. I could fly this airplane forward so I could use him in the combat. The British will definitely have one of theirs in the combat. So there will be one, two, and one for the airplanes. Three, I'll be two. Three plus two is five, plus one is six. Assuming my airplane gets through. Okay, let's move this German airplane up to here. Five. You'll be able to defend them both. Okay. That's one sortie. Um, and then I'm going to spend two, four, and we're going to assault that hex. So that's four more, so I'm down to 30. Um, Combat commitment, we both commit. They're going to send in this airplane. I'm going to send in this one. I am at minus three. He is at minus zero. Because he's plus one for British, minus one for sortie. So the defender's at zero. And I'm at minus three. And the Germans are all. Four minus three is a one. And the British are all a four. 
So we got to go check that. A 1 to a 4 is an AS, which means we get through, but I take two sorties, but I can only take one, so it doesn't matter. And he takes one sortie. And we both get to add one because it's poor weather. Right? It is poor weather here. Poor weather. Poor weather in the mild, so... Um, so, um, the northern panzer is the primary. So he's two plus one for being... Let's see. It's two because he's German, plus one because he's an armored. And then he adds in an armored buddy. That's another plus two. And an aircraft. And the British are one because they're British, one because they're armored, and they add in one because they have an aircraft. Um... They don't have, like, a free forces or anything like that, so they can't add that. So that's what it is. Um, it's a plus 6 to a plus 3. Oh, and then I have to take one off for the weather. Sorry. It's plus 5 to a plus 3. So let's see if the Germans can push them back. Germans roll. A 3 plus 5 is an 8. The British roll. A 1 plus 3 is a 4. An 8 to a 4 is a retreat. So the Canadians retreat a hex. This Panzer will advance. And that changes some of the moving behind the scenes here. Uh, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight. So this guy's going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Push me down to 29. And, um, doesn't have his mulberry yet, so if he lands anything, it'll be out of being low supply. Unless he takes a port. So. This guy's the only guy that's really in port other than militia units. So let's not give him Bordeaux. Let him fight for it. That's a point. Still have to go deal with the uh, the Mediterranean. Because that's fair weather down there. Um, Two, three, four. So that's two more. Now twenty-six. And then this guy here. I think I have to go contain Marseille. I shouldn't have left Marseille. I didn't know I was gonna do so well here. Um, this German's gonna go to Lahar. And then this other German is going to have to come down here and start to contend in the south, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Because the only thing you can land in, does he, the only thing you could land here would be the Gibraltar garrison. So I might be able to get to him. And then just do a quick check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten in the west. And I moved. 11, 12, Hungarians don't count. So I spent 12, and I started at 36, and I'm at 24, 23. I missed one. Who did I miss? Who did Richard did I miss moving? Uh, 
pictures of this movie. I'm not seeing any other moves that I did here in the east. Is there something else I moved in the west? So there's two here in the east. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven, twelve. I think I should be at twenty four, not twenty three. Okay, but well, I'm going to go down from that anyway because I've got to do something down here. Um, it's fair weather, so he's going to be full bore on me. My airplane won't last, but I can't give up Trieste because I don't want him to just drop a... Oh, he doesn't have a garrison. He doesn't have anything in ports. Malta is not within range. He'd have to move to Gibraltar to bring anything into the south and would have to go into Marseille. So I'm actually kind of safe here. Maybe it's time to go ahead and get behind the Po and start setting up for a southern defense. Wow, I really don't know how to go about doing this. I kind of hope the Germans only get some retreats if you get some really nasty results. Um. Minus one there, minus one there, minus one there. See, I could run back to the Alps and just give up northern Italy and southern France and just say, screw this. Because that would be poor weather up there. You could only assault me, so it couldn't really push me very far. Then I'm just giving up ports and things. Really good defensive train. So I think the only thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go one, two, three, four to there. You know something? There's no reason to even do that. There's no reason to do anything here. Oh, and once again, I've got to take the bomb markers off. Just keep trying to give them free bomb markers. Um, it's fair weather down here in these hexes. But like it say he gets a retreat on the seventeenth if it crosses this border. Um it's now poor and he can't continue to attack me. Because he'd be in the middle of a mobile attack and he couldn't declare an assault. So by a quirk of the weather line, I think this is still my best defensive positions. He'll probably try and push me out of Genoa because he can keep me in clear um, in fair weather, so he can keep attacking me, right? But I think I kind of want him to go sideways rather than north into Germany. So, we're going to just stay here. We're not going to do anything. Leaves me with 24. Uh, what have I got to build? I know I have at least one step out here. I have one infantry step. I have one garrison. That's two. So that'd be 22. And I think I have one, two, three, four, five, six airplanes. I really do have seven airplanes. Because I do have the one in Norway, so I could actually get a couple. Yeah, I think we're just going to stop here. Give me a chance to rebuild everything. If I get some step losses somewhere, maybe I can rebuild those. I'll have plenty of build points to or production points to build, rebuild things, and if I don't use them all, there wasn't really that great of moves to make anyway. So the Germans are done. Um, everything is in supply, I think. Let's just go check. Um, let's look here. So armor goes down the thing. 
This guy goes down to ding, he goes down to ding, to ding, to ding, they all go down to railroads. So for now, they're all in supply in France. Uh, this guy is in supply by the ridiculous rail line through Leningrad over here. The zoom until they push the Norway, and then it becomes problematic. Um, 14th hour. He's in supply. He's the weak link. He's the scary one. That if he blows him up, he can just run through this hole. So I think I am going to move one more German over here. Question is, is do I want to move the garrison up? I think I'm going to move this garrison. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm going to spend another point to do that. So I only have 23. Um, just because... Um, if for some reason this thing should get blown up, I don't think he can blow it up in severe. But it's kind of like this paranoia of mine that if like one unit dies and then there's a way for him to run like four or five units in and just start fanning around and, and surrounding everything, it's like, yeah, I think I better make sure I have a backstop. Okay. Yep, everything's in supply because this guy can go to here. And currently, it can run down to Kiev or up through here. When he starts advancing in here. This is gonna; these guys are gonna end up being cut off and have to just back up and get behind the river, which may happen here in February. Depends. Severe weather. I'm not too worried about it because I get to retreat. But uh, you know, we we'll just have to wait and see. How far am I? I'm almost done with my one, my half an hour. So I think we're going to call that the German turn. Um, as far as I can tell, everything's in supply. And we're going to call that the German turn. The West has got some shenanigans to do. So, I'm Dren608. If you like my videos, please subscribe so you don't miss any future episodes. Um, not a lot happened this turn. Germans pushed back the Canadians. We've been doing that back and forth to each other for quite a while now. Um, the Germans are... Uh, basically mitigating any kind of invasions, but there is a possibility of a major uh, kaboom by the Western Allies here in northern uh, Italy. So we're going to see how bad that's going to be. I might end up having to run infantry and strategic and redeploy stuff to southern Germany. But we'll see. Okay. Onwards and upwards. We will be back shortly with the Western uh, Operations Phase. Uh, this is Dren608. We'll see you in a little bit. Bye-bye.